Um, so let's make it tidy. Uh, a dedicated tool to get data into a tidy format is um, some, there's three main functions that I want to, you to know about getting data into a tidy format. And that is gather, which is sort of most closely uh, related to putting each observation in its own row, spread, which puts each variable in its own column and separate, which puts each value in its own cell. So gather, spread and separate. These are all listed in your cheat sheets uh, for easy reference. Uh, let's just take a look. Um, so I've created a trivially silly um, little table here th that I am saying is wide and I want to make it long. And I do that with gather. So how do you write a gather um, function? Well, I will first point out that you want to, whenever you're manipulating data, it's good form to put the manipulated version in a separate data frame or tibble from the original. That way you can always go back and do things differently and you don't have to um, try and undo what you've done. You can just start from fresh each time. So you have your new tibble here. You assign it this name with this function. It comes from your original tibble, pipe and gather. What you want is universe here, which I've marked. You put universe, this is the name of the column that will hold the gathered column headings. Then name is the name of the column that will hold the gathered column data. And then in green, I've got Marvel colon Dark Horse Comics. This is the first and final rows in a range, sorry, first and final columns in a range of columns that you will gather. So the output is a long data set where universe, holds what was previously column headings, name holds what was previously column data, and all of that comes from this range, Marvel colon Dark Horse Comics. Any questions on gather? If it's not just me, it'd be wonderful if you could just go through those two slides again. But yeah, yeah, that's fine. I've got it, don't worry. Yeah, there is a cheat sheet. There's plenty of examples to work through. It can seem like it's hitting you really fast, but yes, I can go through them again. So um, save, the, save your output as a new variable. That's just good practice. You save things with this. We saw that in the last, your original, uh, data that you're working with, pipe and gather. So I think we're probably all together with that. Universe, this is what will hold, that is the name of a new column that will hold the existing column headings. Then you have the name of a new column that will hold existing column contents. Then you have the range of columns that you want to gather. Now there, you can also do this with um, a sort of a list. Uh, so you'd have C parentheses, Marvel, DC Comics, Dark Horse Comics and parentheses. But because I'm, I'm taking an entire range, I've showed you the range function, which uses the colon, the first and the final of uh, columns of the range. Now that's a lot of instances of the word column. So, here, universe holds the headings that you have gathered. Name holds the contents that you have gathered. And Marvel colon Dark Horse Comics is the original set of columns that have been gathered into headings and contents. One more time or are we good? <laughs> yeah, it, it can be uh, a bit tricky. So let's actually go back two slides and I'll show you. So universe holds the headings. Name holds the contents. 
and um, the range that I specified was this column through to this column. So there we go. Any other questions on gather? You will get a chance to practice this. Gather is, is the one that I like the best. I think it's the most useful. Um, I use separate as well, but the, the data sets that I've prepared for you uh, didn't actually need um, spread as much, um, although you may find a need for them. So What's the difference between spread and gather out of interest? Oh, well, I'll show you. Spread does the exact opposite of gather. <laughs> because depending on the shape your data starts out in, I do want to be clear, there's not a right or a wrong way to have data. In general, the tidyverse likes long data better. But sometimes, especially if you want to group things or join tables or whatever, you will need to turn long data into wide so that you can join it with another table that is already wide or something like that. You do need to know how to do both. So gather turns wide data into long, spread turns long data into wide. And um, you'll see these are the same two tables as before, but they are now going from one to the other. And pretty much it's just the reverse um, of, of gather in that you set up the same sort of um, start, you know, with the naming your your new variable, the naming function, the name of the data set you're working with, the pipe spread, and then the parentheses to enclose the contents of the function. And you put the same columns here, so universe and name. And what it does is the first one, it says, right, turn these, the contents of this column into column headings. And this one, it says, turn the contents of these this column into the contents of the newly created column headings. So it just does the exact opposite of what Gather did. Okay. Got a few more minutes before we get to um, the, the short break. So I'll just say separate is a little bit more um, straightforward. I think I think everyone knows, like the date column that we saw earlier, that sometimes things are jammed together in one column and they really ought to be split out. So separate splits that out. So if you have multi-value cells, you can create uh, a table that has no multi-value cells. And this can be done in a couple of ways. If you know that there's a consistent format um, you know, a particular marker, in this case, a comma, there's always, you know, the, the gender of the superhero, a comma, and then a one or a zero to indicate whether or not they have a film. You can say, right, that, that structure, that format I can use. So I will put the name of the column that I want to split, the name of the columns that I want to create, and the thing that I want it to split at. If that is a character, it will split at that character. That character will not be included in either column. You can also, depending on the structure of your column, split at a position. In this case, if it had been, um, whether it has a film comma and then the gender. So this is just, you know, the, the different order that you could have had this jam together um, values in. Again, you have the column you want to split, followed by the names for the columns you want to create, and you can indicate the position. So you will separate them at position two. That is the second position along. Regardless of what is in that position, it could be a blank, it could be a hyphen, it could be a mix so that some have hyphens and some have blanks and some have you know dashes. Or, or commas, it doesn't matter. Second position, it will split. The contents of that will not be included in either column. So the when you split it, this is what you get. You get the two different columns. It's fairly straightforward. I think um, oops, that should say separate, not spread. Oh, with the typos. Um, I'll fix these um, so that 
at the end by tomorrow, all of these typos will be corrected so that you can use the uh, slide deck if you want in a more useful way. Okay, so that's what separate looks like. And we are now on to the next um, sort of set of exercises, uh, tidy R, which basically is asking you to gather, spread, and separate some of the files that we have loaded in the last set. Um, 